Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and I want to present in this video the new runes for the preseason. I am on my smurf, yes, I will make a new series from silver to diamond or from gold to diamond depending on the new season placements. I don't know exactly when will I start this because season starts only the season starts only in January like and it's eh, maybe I'll start sooner, maybe not. I'll see. But that's not important. I want to talk today about the new runes and what are the best runes for Talia and how can we make the most of it. Now, Riot has made these pages which we won't use. I have only two, but I will uh, delete this one and um, let's start from scratch. Okay, so, new page. Um, I want to present multiple possibilities of trees. I want to present my main choices for ranked for matches that you have to make the most impact. And the strongest I feel right now are uh, Electrocute and Summon Airy, just because this is overtuned and most mages use use it. But most mages that have poke use better this mastery than we do this rune and uh, yeah Talia doesn't really have a principal keystone uh, as a lot of players a lot of players stated and even rioters she's kind of in a weird position right now but we're going to try to find the best runes and she's actually getting some minor buffs some pbe i've seen something regarding the armor per level or HP growth or both I don't remember exactly but yeah I want to talk a little about major possibilities that one Talia mage could use and would use now what uh, what is attractive to most people here uh, let me check some okay what is attractive here to most people is electrocute as I said summon airy maybe phase rush maybe arcane comet and maybe uh, where is it? Glacial Augment. Now, the rest are kind of non-important because they aren't really in the Talia. Mm, they aren't really useful for the Talia main. Now, as I said, the first two that you should think about are Summon Eerie and Electrocute because these are the best right now in terms of uh, usefulness, as I might say. Now, we're going through all the possibilities and even different trees. I want to present some trees for Electrocute. I want to present some trees for Summon Eerie. I want to even show you uh, the difference between uh, Arcane Comet and Electrocute and Eerie and so on. I want even to talk. I want to talk a little about even the Glacial Augment. Now let's start somewhere. Let's uh, let's start in the Domination Tree. The first page I want to talk about is the Electrocute page in the Dominant Tree. Now you really want this bit before any other keystone. To you should try this first in Summer Area also. You should see which is better for you as these are the main components, the main strong keystones or runes for Talia until she gets buffed or Summon Area gets nerfed, which will get nerfed. There is, I think, already a nerf on PBE regarding that. now. Electrocute. This, it says hitting a champion with three separate attack or abilities in three seconds deal bonus adaptive damage. Now, this isn't really what Atelier main would actually want because three separate attacks means you can't proc it with your Q alone and it's kind of annoying, but it is something to start with. Now, on the next three, we have the chip shot, sudden impact, and taste of blood. We can't use this really because. Uh, we don't have any dashes, leaps, blinks, teleports, whatever. Taste of blood heal when you damage an enemy champion. I don't really like this. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, you should press this button right here. Show detailed description. It says how much healing you get and how much damage you get. And if you press C key in game, this from I don't know, crown or <laughs> first letter C. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you press C, you can see the damage done by 
different keystones and masteries and rules. I don't know if these are rules or masteries. I'm so messing this up. But yeah, if you press C in game, you'll see how much damage Electra could dealt, how much damage Chief Shot dealt, and how much other rules helped you in some or other ways. Now the next thing you want to pick here is Chief Shot because it is bonus true damage. Now it's not a huge amount, but true damage. It's quite strong and it's only on a 4 second cooldown and if you combine it with other slows from teammates and other items and uh, your WE, you can deal some the bonus damage. Now if you want, you can pick Taste of Blood if you feel you have and you have a need for sustain but you should just sort of try cheap shot here, you should try it and see how it works. Now, Zombie World, Ghost Poro and Eyeball Collection depends. I think I'll play with Eyeball Collection because it says uh, that you get two eyeballs per champion takedown and one eyeball per word. Now, on this smurf I will have lots of kills probably most of the game so I'll have to stack this very... I'll be able to stack this very quick but in a normal game where you are against a skilled opponent, a Zombie World I think it's the best choice here because uh, when your word ends, you actually have another word which lasts uh, 1800 seconds. Hopefully, I pronounced that number right. I still somehow sometimes do numbers. <laughs> anyway, I would pick this here. The ghost power is also great, but I feel I kind of hate it. Because I trigger it accidentally when I enter bushes without no reason. I've done this so many times, I just prefer the other. It's it's more, I don't know, play... It's more, it's, it's better to feel it to... You have a better feel after playing with this instead of Ghost Pro. I feel like that. Now, Ravenous Hunter, Ingenious Hunter and Relentless Hunter. Here it depends on your choice. If you play with active items, I suppose you will go for this, but if you don't like me right now, and you go for Morello and Landry's and so on, you'd like either the Ravenous Hunter or Relentless Hunter. Now, this is nice because it heals you for a percent of damage dealt. If you want sustain, you go for this. And if you want Relentless Hunter, you go for this. I like to have bonus movement speed uh, so I can roam faster. And every time I see a room with movement speed, I go for it because I feel I feel this is the most interesting choice for that, the most helpful choice. Now I might have. To, I I will pick a second tree now. I'll go for it, and uh, let's see. We have sorcery. And we have Inspiration, Precision, yeah, we want to try Resolve. Now on the second tree, you'll most you, you'll want Mana Flow Band or the Ultimate Hat, because uh, they are quite the strongest abilities you could get. And I'll present an alternative also to the Sorcery tree. And let's see. If we go, for example, the ultimate hat means you'll have to cast your ult more often. If you go for mana flow band, you'll have some um, every minute extra damage. How can I say? Your mana bar will turn blue. I didn't know that at first and I got pretty scared because I thought my game bugged. But yeah, when I've seen an opponent. But yeah, and this is quite awesome as a mastery. And also, if you want to cast your ult more, this is... A personal choice for most people. If you feel that you run out of mana quick, if you feel that you spam your spells, you should go for mana flow band. If you think you are more of a team player and want to help your team more with your ultimate or just get some kills with it, you should go for the ultimate hat. Now, obviously if you don't play with Morello or an item or a mana item first, you should go for the mana flow band regardless. Now, I'm going to pick it just because it's my personal choice in this tree. And the second uh, the second ability here it's debatable because you have so many good things i'm going to ignore this i'm going to ignore this also i'm thinking here the best is either the cooldown reduction at level 10 the scorch if you like to deal more damage or water walking if you roam a lot like me 
Now, this is again a choice. Is there is no best rune. It's different for every person. As I said, I like to focus on the movement speed, and uh, I really love this water walking. And I'm going to choose it because I'll go through the river a lot. And if you are on the uh, blue side, especially, you'll just go through the river more than the normal jungle path through your jungle. And yeah, if you are the other, if you are uh, red side in the left, in the right corner of the map, I mean, you're going to also make use of it, but a bit less probably because you'll dive through the enemy jungle a bit more or through your own jungle depends depends on the a lot of, on on uh, the scenarios that on the different scenarios it really depends okay so yeah if you do feel you need more damage you go for scorch or even gathering storm or i never pick this but i suppose it does something also but 40 ability power doesn't seem like much based on level so yeah i suppose 40 is the low the upper limit but yeah i would go for the movement speed or cooldown reduction here i didn't really use scorch it's quite a big cooldown and yeah water walking transcendence or celerity could work best now this is the first rune tree i presented here and other trees other secondary trees, I mean. Uh, I like to play against assassins with inspiration tree because here you have this nice item or the biscuit, but or the hexage. This kind of sucks, I kind of hate it. Uh, I didn't figure it out how is this useful yet, but uh, as stated on Reddit, it is quite a nerf from the Flash because the enemy can see your cooldown on flash when it's um, sw swapped with the hex touch. For the enemy it appears you have the hex touch. I don't know if they, if they fixed this bug, but it's also on Reddit. There's a post on Reddit, League of Legends, or was. And I don't know if they fixed this, but don't choose it until we know for sure. And you have perfect timing. You get a stopwatch that you can use after six minutes. That means you can use this item. Sorry, you can use this item six minutes after the game starts. So you'll be at level six or seven, depends. I tested it and I got also level seven to level five, depends on how behind or far ahead you are. But the truth is, this helps you against Fizz, against Zed, against Katarina, against other matchups that instantly pop you. Or have nasty ultimates that could kill you. Now, this as a secondary thing is also useful. A one-time use on your level 6, 7 gank when you have it. Sometimes you won't gank at level 6. Sometimes you won't gank at level 7. You gank at 8 or 9 or maybe faster. But you still have this. And you could use it as a safe measure to actually dive deeper and get a kill. And after you've used it, it turns into a broken stopwatch. And you still have it to buy Zonias. And that's actually amazing for us to Liamains because we didn't go for the defensive items because we were losing other stats. And in most matchups, we were already behind by not going morals or other items that deal damage for going to Zonias or so on. And this is amazing because it also gives you the gold, the necessary gold start for the Zonia. And it's actually the best thing that might that come towards us, that came towards us in this rune system. I suppose this is one of the things I like most about it, honestly. The master is no master is no runes are actually specific for Talia, because we can't use most of them properly, but we do have some things that actually help us. We should be optimistic about this. Now, some people won't pick, most people won't pick this, but in defensive matchups, in matchups you need to play defensive, I suggest you to try this at least once or twice because it could really, really help you. Now, the next thing we want here. Why did it close? <laughs> Let's see. Not this, obviously. Uh, not this. Actually, if you want to play with the 
depth you could try. Now you could go either for boots or cosmic insight. Now this thing is pretty good. Let me see what. Uh, yeah, I, first before I go into other, if you do feel like you have absolute no chance to defeat the enemy and you just want to survive, just go for this one. First 10 minutes you won't have that much damage, but you'll have 100 health that might save you now. I don't say this is the best, but if you play scared or, you know, it could save your life. But most of the time you'll want to go for either Cosmic Insight or the free boots. This thing actually nullifies you the boots until minute 10, so you'll be actually behind if you think about it, because you can't buy boots and they will be able to buy boots your enemies and yeah you'd rather have cosmic inside industry because of the cooldown reduction the max cooldown reduction the summoner spell cooldown reduction and the item cooldown reduction and the last one the last one you might use on zonias if you go for this perfect timing this is the first rune page i wanted to present now you can have any combinations of this it depends on um, every player and this is a play style I feel it provides both defensive and offensive stats and um, in the Z matchup or in the Katarina phase this could actually be helpful until his first ultimate which usually kills you if they are smart or smarter than you at the lane phase now um, obviously you could go for the Sorcery tree with the mana flow ultimate hat and as I said water walking or whichever you'd like. I want to talk next about other tree. I want to talk about summon eerie because right now it's on most mages and it's quite strong, but not specifically on Talia strong, but on other mages strong like Sarah Ziggs and whoever. They make the most of it because they can poke the most they, they can easily poke compared to us and yeah as i said we don't have a specific keystone and i'll tell you in a few second why now again this is pretty strong also and if you if you hate electrocute you should go for this electrocute doesn't really trigger that much if you don't know how to position or how to hit your combos but uh it will trigger every time your attacks and abilities and you'll deal 20 damage based on that. It's okay, I suppose. Next, you'll want either Mana Flow Band and the Ultimate. We've discussed this already. Uh, I'm going, as I said, for the movement speed and cooldown reduction depends. But I do like the movement speed. Eh, ah, cooldown reduction here. Mm, mm, thinking. Both. Both are pretty good. Because you need both of them. And if you, eh, I'll go for the cooldown reduction and water walking. Yeah. In the second tree, again, you can go for the inspiration or you can go for the domination. Now, I didn't talk about precision because I don't like most of this. Yeah, uh, triumph is good if you feel like you're gonna kill a lot, but you're no assassins to have resets and so on. I feel, uh, and also Coupe de Grace, I feel these masteries are better on assassins and not exactly on us. Yeah, you deal more damage and it works, but not really what you want right now, I suppose. And go for the domination, obviously, with the either Chip Shot or Taste of Blood. I'll go for Chip Shot and uh, Relentless Hunter or Zombie Word or Ravenous Hunter, but here I'll go just for either Ravenous or Relentless Hunter in second tree because you can live without Zombie War. If you need Vision, if you feel like Vision is the best for you, just go for the Zombie War, but depends. Now, let's just pick Relentless Hunter. Also, again, you can go for the Inspiration Tree if you feel like it, and you can pick the Stopwatch and Boots or the Stopwatch and Cooldown Reduction or whatever you feel like is best for you. Now, this is the basic. These are the basic uh, rules for and here I mean Summer Eerie and Electrocute. This is the the Talia starter pack, as I can say. And most people and most guides will also tell you about this too. Some guides will tell you about either Face Rush of Arc and Comets, but let's speak about them also. 
Phase Rush is pretty bad right now because it's a nerfed Thunderlord. Yes, you can proc it easily. No, it does not gain. It does not give you slow resistance if you're not a melee champion. Now, without the slow resistance, it's quite useless. Yes, you can gain 15% at lower levels and 40 at level. At uh, later levels, 40% is actually amazing, but it's not enough early on. So you have lose a lot, a lot of uh, damage from air and electrocute or others. Now, arcane comet. Theoretically, arcane comet provides a lot of damage because of the cooldown. It's a low cooldown and you can proc it easily with your Q, with your single Q and so on. The main problem here is that your combo disrupts Arcane Comet. Why? Because when you use WE, your Arcane Comet will go towards the last position of the enemy and you've already moved them from that position and you will not be able to hit anything with your Arcane Comet. Yes, it's AoE, it's good, but it's not exactly designed for Talia and it kind of stops our playstyle but if theoretically if you use your Q first you'll proc it and then your combo a perfect player will make the most use of this Arcane Comet rune but there are no perfect players and in most cases you will not be able to maximize the output damage because you will just move your target with your combo and so for the burst you like either airy or electrocute because it deals the most instant burst. Uh, I think that this is a discussion on Arcane Comet also. I don't know if I missed something here but I'm thinking yeah um, theoretically a perfect player will make the most of it but there is no perfect players so yeah. Let's move on. I want uh, also on this tree, if you somehow play with this, you can go either for the, again, domination or inspiration or even precision. I don't see on resolve any things that work, but just pick the other two for now and see how you fare and how you do with airy and with electrocute. So, yeah. Uh, shit. Right. And uh, I really want to talk about another another keystone. Some people play with GLP and go for the Glacial Augment. I don't really like this mastery or this rune because the slow it's not that big when you don't have an item. Now the slow is pretty nice after you have GLP but before GLP it's kind of bad compared to others. Now if you do play with this obviously rush GLP because I don't see why would you go for Glacial Augment if you don't have active items. Now if we are on this tree we have the perfect timing. I wouldn't choose I really wouldn't choose biscuit delivery here because this is a game changer. Most people don't think about it, but having a free zonia could actually give you early on the advantage you need. And most people don't realize that Zonia can be a game changer most of the time. In that crucial two versus two early on, in that crucial gank early on that literally turns the game around in high elo. Usually if a team gains advantage, they know how to manipulate that advantage and won't be back and won't lose it. Now yes, we're clown fisting all of the time and so on, but theoretically you should uh, use the advantage further on if you do have it, so it works if you know how to use it. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have a cold and this is the thing that helps me. I think I forgot to tell you about it. Um, next thing, Futures Market, Magical Footwear. Now you get free boots. Yeah, you don't have it until minute 10, but it's still good because you'll have some Master's runes from the other trees that provides movement speed. And here I want to use Cosmic Insight. Now when you go for the Glacial Augment tree, you'll have either Sorcery or Domination. Now if you go for Sorcery, you'll have possibly Water Walking, or transcendence and you'll stack with the yes, cosmic insight and you have a lot of cooldown reduction or mana flow band or ultimate hat you can make a lot of combos you can make a combo here with a lot of cooldown reduction and you'll have ultimate cooldown reduction by five percent with stacking two percent and you also have 
10% from this and also 5% from this and you probably go for the lucidity boots oh, that's the name the, the cooldown reduction boots I, yeah and you're going to stack that with also the items because that item gives cooldown reduction to items and to summoner spells and yeah this thing combined with glacial augment combined with lucidity boots if that's are the boots i think of it provides the maximum cooldown reduction for spells and abilities and items from the shop so if you do feel like you go for glp zonia and you'd like to have a lot of actives and to play with the defensive style that cc's people and propagates and propels them into your we combo so you can easily so more easily hit it with glp and so on uh, this could be a build but i still do not see why someone would go for this build instead of the electrocute and eerie which eerie is busted right now which will get nerfed and electrocute again provides another set of damage for your combo which you'd like most to have you, you'd want that actually i don't know if english worked well there anyway um uh, if you don't like ultimate hat obviously you can go for mana flow band and if you don't like transcendence and you want to have a more aggressive roaming playstyle you'll go for the water walking or you can have water walking and the ultimate hat so you can just walk faster and alt more often and combined with the cooldown reduction yeah i've said i've talked about that already also you'll have the domination tree which could make use of cheap shot or taste of blood depending i've said we're not going to use this because it's useless on us so cheap shot or zombie world or ravenous hunter depends on whatever you want or relentless hunter no or even this but i don't know okay it depends if you want to have more glp uses and yeah what i've noticed the in its the initial glp cooldown is 40 seconds as are on other exchange items. After you play with the build, with the own build that gives item cooldown reduction, you'll have somewhere between 12 and 20 cooldown on that. Now, using GLP every 20 seconds and enabling your combo, it is actually strong. But as I said, you lose a lot of damage from the other keystones because this deals no damage compared to them. But you'll have to actually make use of this through the GLP item or Zonia also. But this doesn't actually get activated theoretically until minute 10 or 8 when you'll have your GLP or 12 depending on how fed you are. And yeah, you do have a 20%, 40% slow on your range attacks. But early on, this is not really good because you won't be able to proc also that it doesn't really enable your combo okay the slow is not that much you need a, a bigger slow like the glp one which works because yeah but until glp this rune it's not exactly what you want and also with glp without mana flow band you might have mana problems i've even tried going glp and the tome from the morello that's okay ish but you do lose on other sides, you won't get Lyandris that fast, you won't get Zonia, you won't get Rabidos, you won't get Void Scythe, you won't get other items. Um, so that's a problem. Going for more and GLP, yeah, you will have cooldown reduction, but it's, you know, kind of losing on other sides. Whew, what else? My neck hurts. I do have a cold and I've talked for 28 minutes. Uh, I don't know if there's something I've missed, let me check. So we talk about we talked about electrocute. No, this ones you don't want. We talked about every single one in this tree, and we talked about also the inspiration tree with glacial augment. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, I don't think these runes could help you, and. If I were you, I'd just try what I've said. Right now, I'd go for Electrocute or Eerie, whichever you feel like it's it's most your playstyle. 
and in the lolking guide I've put actually electrocute I think I first put comment but then I realized yeah it sucks uh, <laughs> and I've put the electrocute uh, tree and I've also wrote a little about uh, the inspiration thingy I mean the secondary inspiration tree with the stop watching why it's good uh, you can have you can see the locking guide in the description now I don't think Tulia is in a good state right now with the runes and yes she will get some buffs we'll see how they fare after it after them and we don't really have that much power compared to last season well we're in pre-season technically so the season ended but we'll try to make the most of it anyway so try as i said electrocute try a rary if you do feel a little more brave go for the glp3 and just a game to see how it fares i've tried every combination of this already and right now it truly depends on player but if i were to make my three as i said i'm going for the electrocute chip shot zombie word relentless hunter for the movement speed and in the either inspiration or sorcery i'm going inspiration now because i want actually to troll people with a stopwatch because no one expects it early on and yeah you see it on the target but as some top laners play with ignite you don't expect it and here i want to go for this this is either a tree against assassins my first tree against assassins the other tree that i would use would be with sorcery with mana flow band and probably water walking or transcendent now i'll put water walking for now but these are my two trees that i want to use this and the other one depending on different matchups i'll just swap the some runes but you kind of got my point here i think you understood what i tried to talk about in here that's about it for now guys, I really hope this video helped and I'll start to make a unranked to master or to diamond or depends <laughs> what division I am after the placements or I'll just start from now, I'm right now in gold 4 but uh, I might put some videos off from, uh, until then, I don't know, I wanted to start now but then I realized the season starts only in <laughs> January but we'll see. We'll see what's about next. I want I want to make tutorials again, and I want to make a video with some ultimate positionings into the practice tool. Now that could be pretty good. Most people prob probably would want that. <sighs> My voice. So that's about it, guys. I'm cold as fuck. I'm I got cold, and yeah. I really hope it goes away and I can talk properly next video. Hopefully my voice didn't change anything as you are used to it. And see you next time guys. Goodbye. Thanks for watching very much and goodbye.